If the world is uncertain, I will go, if the world is not fair, do not return. The world is vast, with a life of nine deaths and no regrets when traveling a thousand miles. In the world of villains, at the end of the Tang dynasty, a soul from later generations was reborn. Becoming the Tiani star of the evil person Tian Gang 36 Colonel. He has a vision of heaven and humanity, with double pupils in his eyes. Observing the mysteries of the universe with both eyes, one can glimpse the mysteries that cannot be discerned. In Zhang Yuanqing's eyes, there are no secrets to any martial arts in the world. At the time of the Huangqiao Rebellion and the Chang'an Crisis, Zhang Yuanqing was entrusted with the task of defeating the army and was ordered to protect Longquan, becoming an abandoned son. Despite suffering serious injuries, he became the Demon Lord of the Xianming sect. Many years later, Zhang Yuanqing saw the world in ruins, but no one could come forward to end this chaotic era, so he personally took action. Chaotic times are all destroyed, people's hearts are not there, and the world is full of ups and downs. It's really not going my way. Keywords of the novel The villain starts from being an undercover agent of the Xianming sect without pop-ups, the villain starts from being an undercover agent of the Xianming sect. Download the complete text, and the villain starts from being an undercover agent of the Xianming sect. Read the latest chapters. Chapter 1 Unholy People and Different Stars You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Unholy People and Different Stars in the First Year of Guangming The rebel Huang Chao proclaimed himself king and within a few years, he captured half of the Tang dynasty. Now, his army is advancing towards the capital Chang'an, and the foundation of the Tang dynasty is in turmoil. At this moment, the most mysterious organization of the Tang dynasty, the bad guys, suddenly announced its dissolution, and all the bad guys, along with the bad guys, went missing. The feudal lords of the world were restless and ready to stir, at the beginning of a great chaos. Chang'an, the capital. Within the imperial palace. Amidst the vast expanse of books in the Sutra Pavilion, a handsome young man in white, with a disheveled hair, carefully studied a scroll of Buddhist scriptures in his hand. His name is Zhang Yuanqing. He was originally a person from 2000 years later, but he unexpectedly traveled here and was picked up and raised by the unscrupulous handsome Yuan Tian Gang. Eighteen years have passed in a blink of an eye. In addition, he also has another identity, which is Tian Yixing, one of the 36 Heavenly Gang Colonel of the Bad Person, a person who can become a bad person colonel without martial arts skills. And the reason why he can become the villain Tian Gang Colonel is because of his unique eyes. The vision of heaven and man, with double pupils in the eyes, is called heavy pupils. He has the same eyes as Tsangjia, Yushan and Xiangyu, the overlord of the Western Chu. A pair of eyes that the ancients called the Sage of Kings is also the reason why Yuan Tian Gang kept him by his side. Zhang Yuanqing put down the Diamond Sutra in his hand, and a divine light flowed in his eyes, as if a supernatural energy had emerged. Three years ago, he was imprisoned by Yuan Tian Gang in the Great Inner Canon Pavilion, where he spent his days with scriptures and books. He read 3,000 Taoist scriptures, 10,000 Buddhist scriptures, and a hundred classic texts all over. And a year ago, Zhang Yuanqing's body inexplicably erupted with an extremely strong internal force. This internal force operates on its own throughout the week, and with each cycle of operation, its strength increases by one point. The strength is getting stronger and stronger, with all four limbs and bones, and there is a surge of spiritual energy in every corner, even the roots of the hair seem to be filled with strength. Closing your eyes for rest can greatly invigorate your mind. A warm current flows from your chest to your back, and then from your back to your chest, circulating on its own in a cycle. Every week of circulation, I feel that some strength is generated everywhere, and my internal strength increases by one point every day. My internal strength is already deep, and my breath is still strong, so I can do whatever I want. As his internal strength grew stronger, Zhang Yuanqing realized that he might have developed a peerless internal skill through the interaction between heaven and humanity. 
He named this unparalleled divine skill Shen Zhao Gong. According to the chess classic, there must be nine levels of Go. The first level is called trance. When entering this level and playing with people, one's mind is in harmony with the sky, wandering within the game. It is mysterious and unpredictable, and every piece that falls is a flash of spiritual light, gifted by heaven, and the wisdom of the opponent is also difficult to predict the situation. It is an indescribable realm, the second level is called sitting photo, where one's mind remains motionless and everything is clear at a glance. Every move and layout of the opponent can be seen as insightful as fire, silently washing away the world of war and winning without a trace. It is a state that has never been reached by anyone from ancient times to the present, and cannot be defeated. Being engrossed and taking photos while sitting are the most extraordinary and sacred realms in Go, in martial arts, there is a realm called meditation, which is almost a divine realm. When the mind is still, it sits alone and observes the world of mustard seeds. When the mind is moving, it wanders endlessly, entering and exiting the dark and blue clouds. Between the movement and stillness, yin and yang coexist, and the energy is harmonious. In this realm, observing the martial arts of the world is like observing patterns in the palm of one's hand, bending down and picking them up, freely waving them with one hand. It is clear to all, invisible to sight, inaudible to hear, and unattainable to fight. It is the true and authentic appearance of a land immortal, and the way of martial arts is at its end. Looking at the long river of history, it is probably only two thousand years ago that the divine sword bestowed upon you NV reached this level. As Zhang Yuanqing knew in his past life, there was a saying that, if you practice the divine illumination technique, you will have an invincible hand in the world. After practicing it, it has the effect of reviving the dead, with pure internal power that is unparalleled in the world. With a single palm strike, your vigorous energy can reach several feet, and it is powerful and powerful. Those who hit it are either dead or disabled, the lightness skill is self-taught and can surpass everyone in the world without any secret script. It is truly a rare and unparalleled skill in the martial arts world. Zhang Yuanqing's realization at this moment coincides with the true, divine illumination skill, and even surpasses it by three points. At this moment, Zhang Yuanqing was practicing his martial arts in his mind when he heard a rapid sound of footsteps coming from outside the door. Sir, the Grand Marshal suddenly summoned all the wicked people from Chang'an and Luoyang. Please hold a meeting outside the palace gate. Zhang Yuanqing opened his eyes in awe, with a restrained expression and a faint aura, completely unable to discern the aura of a mid-heaven expert. Got it, I'll be there later. After speaking, the person saw the door of the Sutra Pavilion open and close instantly, followed by a gentle breeze brushing against his face, and then there was no further movement. Why haven't people come out yet? After a moment. From afar, Zhang Yuanqing could see the tall and straight figure. Bamboo hat, iron face, green clothes. That's a bad handsome person. There were also more than ten Tiangang colonel and all the bad people at the headquarters present. The rebel Huang Chao will soon capture Chang'an. Would you be willing to accompany me to escort him? Yuan Tiangang's hoarse and deep voice came, clearly inquiring, but his words were filled with unquestionable dominance. We are willing to go. Behind Zhang Yuanqing, all the bad people beside him spoke in unison. The sound is deafening, but behind this passionate heart lies endless sadness. A close call to death. Wrong, ten deaths without life. With just a few thousand of them, they can still block Huang Chao's million-strong army. Knowing it was a deadly situation, but at this moment no one retreated. Help! Zhang Yuanqing sneered in his heart. Others don't know, but Zhang Yuanqing still doesn't know. Today the wicked will be dissolved. As Zhang Yuanqing saw the disappearance of Tianli Xingyang's uncle and Tianli Xinglu Yojia among the school captains, he knew they had already set off with the Longquan sword. They are just sacrificial beings who procrastinate for the safety of Longquan. It's not that bad people gave up on the emperor, but that you, Yuan Tiangang, gave up on the emperor. 
Zhang Yuanqing's eyes showed a hint of sadness. At this moment, Yuan Tiangang seemed to have a feeling in his heart, and his majestic and cold gaze instantly locked onto Zhang Yuanqing. There was a hint of surprise in the eyes. I didn't expect Shi Bei to be impressed in three days. Since the Tiani star skill has broken through to the mid heaven level, the task of leading other villains to block the Huang Chao army will be entrusted to you. Would you be willing to? Zhang Yuanqing immediately knelt down on one knee, clasped his fist and arched his hand, saying, For the sake of the Tang dynasty for generations to come, I will definitely go through fire and water. It is my duty to do so. Although Zhang Yuanqing felt bitter in his heart, he could only agree. He was raised by Yuan Tiangang from a young age and received nurturing kindness, thanks to the emperor's kindness, he was granted the right to reside in the great inner canon pavilion and received the emperor's favor. With both emotion and reason, he should be devoted to his duties for the emperor. If he dared to say half a no at this moment, Yuan Tiangang's knife would cut off his head in just one second. Even though he had exceptional talent and was born an outsider, he had no choice but to be treated as an abandoned child at this time. And when Zhang Yuanqing said this, it was meant to be loyal to the Tang dynasty, loyal to the Li Tang royal family, rather than to the power of Yuan Tiangang alone. Such a statement not only did not make Yuan Tiangang angry, but also made him even happier. If it weren't for the pressure of the situation, how could he be willing to let the future villain, who is only 18 years old and has the power of the heavenly position, be at risk. There is really a shortage of experts under his command, and no one can use them. Seeing Zhang Yuanqing like this, Yuan Tiangang's satisfaction flashed in his eyes, and his solemn gaze looked into the distance, saying, Let's go. Upon hearing these words, Zhang Yuanqing took the lead and led the major colonels and all the bad people to pour out. The human force is vast, like a torrent against the current, moving towards the direction of the city gate. This move is called escort, but it is actually Longquan. The foundation of the Tang dynasty is difficult to recover, and Yuan Tiangang couldn't help but see that as long as Longquan is safe and sound, the Tang dynasty can still be saved. At this point, above the Xuanwu Gate Tower in Chang'an City, Zhang Yuanqing climbed high and looked out into the distance, a desolate and yellow world. All sounds are silent, but the hidden undercurrent under the dusk night is raging. Zhang Yuanqing's fingers felt cold as he tightly grasped the handle of the horizontal knife at his waist. In no time, a black tide surged up on the distant horizon. The army of Huang Chao has arrived. Seeing the black tide rolling in, he seemed to be able to hear the fluttering flags under the strong north wind. Seeing a large army pressing down on the border, the flames of war were on the verge of breaking out. Kill. Shoot arrows. At first glance, there are corpses scattered everywhere, and blood and flesh flying on the battlefield filled with smoke and gunpowder. Zhang Yuanqing was like a madman, waving countless swords and slaying countless enemies. Warm blood spilled on his face, the strong smell of blood stimulating his bloodthirsty and aggressive nerves, and the endless killing intent almost engulfed him. At this moment, he was like a flat boat under the big waves, letting the wind and waves carry him forward. Suddenly, there was a loud roar below the city. The gatekeeper grabbed Zhang Yuanqing's shoulder and shouted, Sir, the city gate is broken. Zhang Yuanqing, who had turned red in the eyes, instinctively raised his sword and slashed. The shouting in his ear brought him back to his senses, and his eyes gradually became clear. The city gate is broken. Zhang Yuanqing once again swung down an enemy soldier and shouted at the villains, When has it been? Before they set off, they agreed with Yuan Tiangang that they could retreat and protect themselves at three quarters of Yushu. In less than three quarters of the hour of Yu, the city was destroyed, and they were condemned to death, at the third quarter of the Yushu era, the city was still there, and they were the heroes. But Zhang Yuanqing can't control so much. He just wants to live, but for Yuan Tiangang, an old monster who has lived for 300 years behind him, any small action is a deadly death penalty. 
Zhang Yuanqing had no choice but to fight to the death. At a quarter past the hour of, you sure, my lord. Upon hearing this, Zhang Yuanqing quickly gathered a large group of unscrupulous people to rush down the city tower. Deadly Battle the divine illumination technique is incredibly mysterious, unleashing unparalleled internal power in the world. The silent technique is unleashed, and the body method is like a ghost, moistening things silently in sweeping shadows. A tang horizontal sword in hand, like a sickle of death, constantly reaping the lives of the enemy. Head rolling, blood flowing into a river. The flying arrows, the throwing catapults, and the fragility of life are highlighted at this moment. After a stick of incense. In the arched city gate, Zhang Yuanqing stands alone with his own sword. The walls beside me have been filled with corpses, and blood flows like a river into the moat. This person is so brave, whose subordinate is he? In the camp outside the city, a handsome and extraordinary man looked at Zhang Yuanqing with a burning gaze, looking around and asking. This the people on both sides looked at each other, unable to answer. Huang Chao's heart was filled with love for talent, so he drove his horse forward and shouted loudly, That brave warrior, are you willing to serve under my command? At that time, you will be honored and prosperous. Zhang Yuanqing looked up at the sky and tried to straighten his waist, saying, When has it been? What? Huang Chao was a bit confused. When did I ask you? A fierce expression flashed in Zhang Yuanqing's eyes, staring closely at Huang Chao and asking in a hoarse and deep voice. Huang Chao looked left and right, and one person whispered back, Your Majesty, it's three quarters of Yushu. Huang Chao then replied, Yushu San Ku. At the third quarter of Yushu, Zhang Yuanqing heard this and a faint smile appeared on his face. Not only him, but also the other surviving villains were delighted upon hearing this. Suddenly, a bright skyrocket rose in the city and exploded in the sky. Not good. Huang Chao suddenly realized something was wrong, his eyes changed instantly, and he drew his sword and shouted at the city gate, Kill! Upon seeing this, Zhang Yuanqing let out a silent sigh as he had no strength to escape. Helpless, he only wanted to die more beautifully and honorably, preferably in the annals of history. So Zhang Yuanqing howled up to the sky, his momentum suddenly rising. I am not a good person with a different star in the sky. Colonel Zhang Yuanqing is also the same. Your mission has been accomplished, let's go our separate ways. After speaking, Zhang Yuanqing broke the two spears inserted into his body and rushed out with a loud roar. Looking at his back, the gaze of all the wicked people instantly changed. Worship, respect, self-blame, sympathy, and guilt quickly engulfed Zhang Yuanqing in the complex gazes of the enemy. Outside the city gate, on the broken bridge by the moat, a fast horse leaped past. The long spear was raised with a slight cold light, and the blood and flesh blurred figure hanging from the head of the spear was none other than Zhang Yuanqing. Plush. The gun pierced through Zhang Yuanqing's body, and with a flick of the barrel, the person threw Zhang Yuanqing off the moat. End of this chapter Chapter 2 The Beginning of Xianming Sect You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 The Beginning of Xianming Sect After a few days, Zhang Yuanqing, who was unconscious, gradually regained consciousness. He woke up. A charming and pleasant voice came into my ears. With such a beautiful voice, I immediately knew she was a great beauty, Zhang Yuanqing suddenly thought in a daze. When I opened my eyes, I saw a man as strong as a mountain, with bulging blue skin and half a ghostly face. He he, you're awake. Zhang Yuanqing was suddenly startled and his whole body was like a sudden enlightenment, completely awake. Who are you? You are so impolite. They put in so much effort to save you, but you didn't want to shout at my brother. The soft and pleasant voice came again, and Zhang Yuanqing turned her head to take a look. I saw a beautiful woman with a graceful figure, snow dot white skin, and long purple hair shaking a spoon to boil medicine. 
Dare to ask. Zhang Yuan paused for the first time and looked at the few people inside the room. A man as strong as a mountain, with a strange blue skin all over his body, a ferocious and terrifying face, and a big man sketching paper figures with a pen, a seductive figure sitting on the wall emitting a terrifying murderous aura, constantly muttering, kill 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 kill, and a handsome white clad man leaning against the door frame looking up at the sky. Their identities, at this point Zhang Yuan Qing had already guessed roughly. Isn't this the four great corpse ancestors of the Xianming sect? Seeing Zhang Yuan Qing speaking halfway, the general raised his delicate jade hand and lifted a strand of hair. His seductive and charming eyes turned to him and asked, Little brother, what do you want to ask? Uh, may I ask your benefactor's names, and where am I now? The general straightened his waist and chuckled lightly, tapping his fingers. It's easy to say. As for my beautiful sister, my name is General. The blue big block is my younger brother, Welding Ba. The one leaning against the door frame who is nervous is also my younger brother, Ho Qing. The last cold ice block facing the wall is my sister, Ingo. As for where you are now, of course it's Bianliang. As soon as he finished speaking, the general suddenly stared straight into his eyes, with a naked and fiery expression in his eyes, and his breathing became rapid. The general's crimson clove tongue licked his lips and passionately caressed Zhang Yuanqing's eyes, saying, Little brother, take a good look at your eyes. I really like it. Can you give it to your sister? Zhongnan Mountain Sangbing Valley Yuan Tiangang looked at the villain who had returned, his gaze flickering with indescribable complexity. Where is Tiani Star? A wicked person, dragging his seriously injured body, knelt down with a thump and said, I inform you, General. That day at the Xuanwu Gate in Chang'an, Tiani Star stood alone to block the army of Huang Chao in order for us to break through. After being pierced by a bullet, he was taken down from the moat, and his life and death are still unknown. As they spoke, a group of delinquents knelt down and cowed out, saying sadly, We, the colonel, deserve to die for dragging us down. Yuan Tiangang suddenly felt a sense of unease in his heart, but he only recovered in an instant and let out a silent sigh. Tiani Star died for the Tang Dynasty, and died in the right place. Please leave your useful body and continue to complete the great cause of restoring the Tang Dynasty. From now on, the bad guys will disband. You must lurk beside the lords of this world, waiting for the right time. When the time is ripe, I will go find you. Everyone bowed before bowing, and said in unison, I have followed the instructions of the Grand Marshal, and we are willing to die for the Tang Dynasty. After all the bad people left, Yuan Tian Gang started a hexagram alone. The copper coins are settled and a hexagram is displayed on the ground. Yuan Tian Gang suddenly burst into laughter. Good kid, if you don't die in a disaster, the situation will improve. The calamity has already been broken. Let's see if you will be a dragon or a tiger in the future. The Shui is here alone, why are you laughing? Behind Yuan Tian Gang, a gentle and charming voice came, and the crisp footsteps were heard. Looking back, a red-pink beauty with purple hair, a seductive and graceful figure, and an unparalleled beauty walked over. Her lining, hem, and wristbands are all purple, and she wears gold jewelry on her chest and waist. She wears purple gradient white pantyhose on her legs, purple high heels, and the lower legs have the same gold jewelry as her upper body. A pair of slender and smooth legs, graceful and graceful, with skin resembling that of a teenage girl but possessing all kinds of feminine charm, and a pair of peach buttocks that are so beautiful that people cannot move their eyes. A pair of proud snow peaks reveal half of the mountain range, beautiful and charming, and at a glance, it is a peerless beauty in the world. Yuan Tian Gang saw the beauty approaching and turned around to greet her. Shi Yao, you came just in time. I have something important to entrust to you, General. Shi Yao bowed Ying Ying and said, I dare not refuse the orders given by the Grand Marshal. Zhu Wen and Huang Chao from Bianzhou have turned against each other. The purpose of gathering various experts here is not small. 
you can disguise yourself and infiltrate the interior, waiting for our commander's dispatch. Obey me. Bianliang City. Everyone, where are we going? Can you let me go? I have eighty mothers above and eighty mothers below. On the horse's back, Zhang Yuanqing was bound up in various ways and accompanied along the way. The strange gazes of the pedestrians along the way made his face burn with embarrassment. Do you have a wife and children waiting to be fed? The general's teasing gaze fell on his face, and his fingers lightly brushed against Zhang Yuanqing's cheek. He looked into his eyes with fascination and said, Little brother, you're not good. Don't think my sister can't tell. You're still a chick. That day, you were seriously injured and unconscious, and my sister had never seen you up and down. Upon hearing this, Zhang Yuanqing let out a mournful cry and put on an unbearable demeanor of humiliation, with tears silently streaming down the corners of his eyes. Cluck, 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 the general covered his mouth and chuckled lightly, emitting a pleasant silver bell laughter. He lowered his head and exhaled in Zhang Yuanqing's ear, saying, Little brother, you are so cute. Sister really wants to eat you. It's not necessary. Ingo, with an icy face behind her, exuded a murderous aura, and her crimson eyes revealed a bloodthirsty madness. She said, let Isha lie to him, take your eyes. Zhang Yuanqing's face stiffened as she struggled to break free from her constraints. Bullying a disabled person is really despicable. Ho Qing, who was playing with a red umbrella, suddenly spoke, but was stopped by the cold gaze cast by a firefly on the side. The general said, don't worry, compared to my younger brother's heavy pupils, I am still more curious about his incredibly mysterious internal power, which is truly rare in the world. Zhang Yuanqing couldn't get along with these crazy people and quickly said, then I'll give you my internal skills. Can you let me go, sister? Cannot. Okay, when I didn't say it. Zhang Yuanqing flipped over and changed positions, lying on the back of a horse. Xianming sect recruits people, earning two tails of silver per month, including food and shelter, ensuring that children and elderly are not deceived. From afar, Zhang Yuanqing heard someone shouting around at the top of their throat. With a thought in his mind, he thought to himself, Huang Chao has just captured Chang'an, and Zhu Wen has started to form the Xianming sect. In no time, the five people walked over. As soon as we met, the terrifying and terrifying appearance of Welding Ba intimidated the person. For major celestial positions, one central celestial position, do you want it or not? The soldier was stunned for a moment, completely losing his language ability. Mom, my second son Wang stabbed his but with a small knife. He opened his eyes. Do you want it? The general's voice sank a bit. If you want it, please wait a few adults. The person ran back while speaking, and turned back three times in fear that they might suddenly leave. Zhu Wen, who heard that five experts had come down from the camp, couldn't sit still in an instant and walked out in a hurry. His eldest son Zhu Yugui also went with him. On his horse's back, Zhang Yuanqing twisted his body and said, Sister, someone will come soon. Don't let me lose face, okay? Let me down. Okay. The general snapped his finger and the rope on Zhang Yuanqing's body loosened. Soon, Zhu Wen and his son welcomed them in. At this time, Zhu Wen was still a brave general, and Zhu Yugui was also a handsome young man with a dignified appearance. Zhu Wen took the lead in saying, I, Zhu Wen, have you met a few people? I don't know their names or surnames. The general played with his hair and said, My name is General. Ho Qing. Welding plug. The forehead is like a firefly hook. Finally, everyone's gaze turned to Zhang Yuanqing. So what's your name? Okay, after spending a few days together, I didn't even know my name. Zhang Yuanqing, who was two years old, reluctantly applied for a pseudonym. Chong Lu. Ha ha, good. At first glance, you are not ordinary people. Since you all appreciate it, 
than the high official and generous salary promised by the general. Before Zhu Wen could finish speaking, he was interrupted by the generals. We don't want those things. Zhu Wen was stunned and asked, what do those people want? The general said, I want someone. Naturally, it's to help her catch people for experiments, otherwise why is she here? Ingo looked murderous and said, you want to kill someone. Ho Ching said, a person who wants to die. I want to find a woman who likes me, said Welding Ba with a hint of shyness on his large and fierce face, I can tell that you all have unique skills, Zhu Wen awkwardly smiled and looked at Zhang Yuan Qing again. What about you? Come, let me hear what you have to say. Can I stay away from them? The farther, the better. Zhu Wen's face finally showed a hint of satisfaction. It's amazing, there's finally a normal person. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Ingo Rampage You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Ingo Rampage Unfortunately, Zhang Yuanqing's wish has not been realized. He was left behind to form the Xianming Sect, also known as the Demon Lord, and was on the same level as the four great corpse ancestors. The high dot level of the Xianming sect gradually gained scale, and to this day, the demon lord and the four great corpse ancestors have become experts in controlling the sect. The Ming Emperor Zhu Yuan has become the apparent ruler, and below him is the ghost king Zhu Yuan. During this period, Zhang Yuanqing secretly sent a pigeon message to Yuan Tiangang, but half a month passed and there was no reply, and it was unclear whether he had received it or not. Liang Army Camp Zhu Wenduan sat in the position of head coach without saying a word, his expression inexplicable. Does father have any worries? Zhu Yugui stood up and asked. A cold light flashed through Zhu Wen's eyes and he said, Can you see the eyes of the demon lord Chonglu? Eyes. Zhu Yugui was taken aback for a moment, he really didn't pay attention to it. That person has double pupils, which are the double pupils of the legendary sage's appearance. As soon as these words were spoken, Zhu Yugui was first startled and then looked at his father with a serious expression on his face. Do you want a child? Zhu Yugui said, with a murderous expression on his face, and made a motion of wiping his neck. Such celestial and human anomalies are destined to be extraordinary individuals. Moreover, anyone in history who has such anomalies is not a ruler of a certain dynasty. The ancients were superstitious, and no one wanted such a powerful character under their command. Don't worry, it's the time to hire people right now. Besides, his skills are not bad, and he's about to go to war with Huang Chao. It's ominous to kill him. Zhu Wen let out a long sigh and said softly, My son must firmly hold the Xianming sect in his hand, and never make wedding clothes for others. The child understands. After a facelift, Zhang Yuanqing wore a black flowing cloud feather robe and a ferocious and terrifying mask, dressed like a great demon in a mixed world. The next day, Zhang Yuanqing sat alone in the camp practicing martial arts and healing his injuries. Pinching the formula with both hands, the divine illumination skill's internal power flows like a star in front of you, emitting a mysterious aura. With the circulation of true qi throughout the universe, Zhang Yuanqing's internal injuries quickly repaired. Qi and blood boil, and threads of steam emanate from above. Under the powerful influence of Shen Zhao Gong, the penetrating injury on Zhang Yuanqing's chest disappeared at a speed visible to the naked eye. Smooth skin with a bright red hue and no visible blemishes. After a night of cultivation, he finally fully recovered and had a peaceful internal breathing, completely different from before. Zhang Yuanqing put on a mask and went out to welcome the sunrise of a new day. However, Zhang Yuanqing's beautiful morning was stirred yellow by a deep and resentful lament. Yo, is the injury completely healed? The whole person is different. Look at it, just like this, a beautiful woman who looks like a flower has been waiting for you all morning but has been mercilessly ignored by you. It's really the intention of falling flowers to flow mercilessly, turning her head, I saw a charming and charming beauty leaning against the corner, crying with pity. 
A pair of seductive eyes were crying with pear blossoms and rain, dressed in light makeup. Her long pink hair was swayed by the evening breeze, very beautiful. She was still wearing simple round earrings, carrying a basket filled with petals, exuding an exotic charm. She wore a navel revealing outfit on her upper body in a tattoo on her waist, revealing her proud figure. The general was crying as he reached into the flower basket with one hand, sprinkling petals to enhance the atmosphere. Seeing Zhang Yuanqing embarrassingly, he even suffered from cancer. You really have it, my lord. Zhang Yuanqing quickly went over and pulled her away, so as not to embarrass herself in public and lose face. In an uninhabited place, Zhang Yuanqing pressed his generals against the wall. Oh, what are you doing? What can't be said well, as for you. The general changed his face and wiped away his tears. He hugged Zhang Yuanqing's waist, greedily breathing in his breath, and his hands kept moving and caressing. Yes, yes, that's the feeling. This mysterious aura and unique way of using martial arts are so wonderful. Zhang Yuanqing was about to push her away, but was grabbed by the general's wrist and pressed against the wall. A pair of delicate pink fox eyes showed an eager expression. Good little brother, can you ask your sister to study your body? Sister, I don't want your eyes anymore. Dot. Zhang Yuanqing was about to speak when he heard a hurried sound of footsteps coming from outside. A soldier suddenly appeared. Lord Demon Lord, Lord Corpse Ancestor, summoned by the Dark Emperor. The ambiguous posture of the two in this empty little corner is really insulting. The air suddenly became quiet, and a strange atmosphere emerged. The little soldier suddenly felt a chill in his spine and was so scared that he ran away. I didn't see anything, please don't kill me, let's go. The general pretended that nothing had happened and twisted his waist calmly, walking faster and faster. If it weren't for Zhang Yuanqing seeing the dazzling red earlobes, he might have thought this woman had no taboos. Not for a while. In Zhu Yogui's camp. All the high dot level officials of the Xianming sect gathered together. Zhu Yugui opened her body to the side, revealing an ugly and terrifying old woman with a short and hunched figure behind her. Ladies and gentlemen, return to the throne of the Xianming sect's Meng Pu. Dot. Seeing this, Zhang Yuanqing's eyes under his mask burst into a golden light. You're here, Shi Yao. Zhang Yuanqing still agreed and said, Congratulations to Emperor Ming for recruiting another great general, and congratulations to the great cause of the Xianming sect. At night. The Liang army's camp is thirty miles away. The air was filled with a strong smell of blood. Zhang Yuanqing, who had intended to meet Shi Yao by chance, followed the direction of the bloodstains just in case. In the depths of the forest, the smell of blood became increasingly strong. The remaining limbs and arms on the ground were still warm, and the pink intestines on the shattered horse corpse were unconsciously wriggling. The fragments of sword armor turned into flying flowers and sank into the trees and stones. From this, it can be seen that this person has profound skills and a fierce and bloodthirsty nature, making him by no means an easy match. Slightly, Zhang Yuanqing heard a wail and scream from deep in the forest, as well as the terrifying sound of flesh and blood tearing apart and breaking free from muscles and bones. Zhang Yuanqing's figure flashed and flew up the tree. Between the corpses on the ground, a tall and graceful figure was grabbing the arms of a bandit. Thorny. One person, two corpses, flesh and blood separated. That's Ingo. Zhang Yuanqing recognized the woman who was enjoying the slaughter, and a chill rose in his heart. The blood stimulated Ingo's bloodthirsty nerves. At this moment, she was squinting her eyes, breathing in the fragrant smell of blood in the air, intoxicated alone. Suddenly, Ingo's blood-red eyes flashed with a red light, staring fixedly in the direction where Zhang Yuanqing was hiding. Smell it, there's a breath on your body. In an instant, Ingo's figure flashed towards Zhang Yuanqing. Zhang Yuanqing was shocked and suddenly retreated. Too fast to see clearly. What kind of monster is this? 
the corner of Ingo's mouth curled, revealing a sickly and bloodthirsty frenzy of killing intent on her beautiful face. I saw her lift a jade hand, and her blood-red true energy surged out like a devouring python. As Zhang Yuanqing tossed and turned, he suddenly felt a murderous aura coming from behind him. His palms were full of true energy, and he turned around to meet each other. Two extremely strong true qi collided, causing the air to explode and unleashing towering waves that surged in all directions. All the surrounding vegetation and rocks have collapsed. Puff. Despite the unparalleled internal strength of Shen Zhao Gong, the gap in skill still left Zhang Yuanqing at a disadvantage. The skill of Ingo is at least at the level of the Great Heavenly Position, and it is also the best among the Great Heavenly Positions. Zhang Yuanqing wiped away the blood from the corner of his mouth, knowing that if he couldn't have a fight with her today, it would be difficult for him to escape. You're very strong, I really like you. The firefly hooked his head and shot his body like an arrow flying towards Zhang Yuanqing. At the same time, Zhang Yuanqing also took action. The body movements are as fast as ghosts and ghosts, invisible and silent, leaving no trace when stepping on the ground. The true meaning of, moistening things silently, keeping your steps clean, and keeping your body stable is to act according to the divine, is fully demonstrated by Zhang Yuanqing at this moment. Between the jungle, two extremely strong internal forces constantly entangle and collide, and the burst of qi is already a deadly weapon, extremely dangerous. Just as the two of them were struggling to part ways, Ingo's momentum skyrocketed once again, and the endless killing energy turned into a giant python to be killed. Zhang Yuanqing seized the loophole in the wide opening of the firefly hook's middle door and flew up with a little luck at his fingertips, transforming into a flowing light. Avoiding the strangulation of several true qi, he gave a finger to Ingo's eyebrows. Wake me up. At this moment, Ingo's powerful palm also hit Zhang Yuanqing's chest. Bang! All sounds are silent. Zhang Yuanqing flew backwards like a detached kite. Ingo's bloodthirsty eyes gradually became clear. After breaking several large trees, Zhang Yuanqing spat out fresh blood and his breath was weak. Before falling into a coma, Zhang Yuanqing had only one thought in his heart. I might as well not have recovered from my injury Ingo, who had regained consciousness, shook her head and looked absent-mindedly at Zhang Yuanqing lying in a pool of blood in the distance, murmuring. Yeah. Is he dead ball? End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Vajra Immortal Skill. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4. Vajra Immortal Skill Half Asleep and Half Awake, Zhang Yuanqing felt something crawling on his face. He would flip his eyes and walk up and down on himself, causing him to feel uncomfortable all over. At this moment, Zhang Yuanqing felt his eyelids rolled up, and a blurry shadow was shaking in front of him. Subconsciously, Zhang Yuanqing suddenly opened his eyes. Yeah. A panicked scream rang out, and a beautiful face quickly retreated. Zhang Yuanqing glared angrily at the general. What the hell are you doing? The general, feeling guilty, hid a silver knife behind him and pretended to be innocent, saying, No, I see you haven't woken up. Can I help you? That's right. Zhang Yuan said with a smile on his face, looking behind the generals and mocking, It turns out that waking me up requires using a knife to dig my eyes. It's truly a story from ancient times. Seeing that his actions were exposed, the general decided not to pretend and directly knocked Zhang Yuanqing down. The soft and delicate body lay on him, greedily groping his cheeks. I didn't expect you to recover from such a serious injury the next day. How did you do it? The more I think about it, the more I can't help but want to dissect your body and study it thoroughly. The general raised his eyes, his pink beautiful eyes flowing, and his delicate voice said, Sister suddenly doesn't want your eyes. Let me study your body, okay? Zhang Yuanqing lifted her down and immediately wanted to sit up, but a severe pain came from her body. Hiss. My back, my arms, and my legs are so painful. 
Zhang Yuanqing reached out and touched back, his hands covered in blood. Ingo walked in expressionlessly and said, I didn't even wake you up that day, so I dragged you back. Zhang Yuanqing's face stiffened. Suddenly, I couldn't help but think of the scene of a cold beauty pulling her hand, dragging herself back like a dead dog. I really. Thank you. You're welcome, I'll fight with you when you're okay. The general hid on the side, covering his mouth and smirking, looking at him with teasing eyes. How about doing research with his sister or being wanted to be beaten to death? Zhang Yuanqing was speechless and choked, lying on the bed with lifeless eyes. I can't live these days anymore. Three days later. Zhang Yuanqing, who had recovered from his injury, found a secluded place to sit on his knees. Reciting the Vajrayana Boromir Mitta Heart Sutra in one's mouth, the heart god pulls the qi machine from the dantian and moves with the heart emanating from the mind. All phenomena are illusory. If we see that all phenomena are not phenomena, then we see the Tathagata. All bodhisattvas, Mahabhadras, should subdue their hearts. All sentient beings, such as egg-born, viviparous, wet-born, and transformed, colored or colorless, if there is thought, no thought, no thought, no thought, I will lead them into the state of emptiness and nirvana. If there is no infinite and boundless sentient beings, there is no one who can achieve the state of extinction. Why? Subhoodie. If a bodhisattva has the state of self, human, all sentient beings, and the state of longevity, it is not a bodhisattva. It is the infinite blessings that all sentient beings have obtained. Why is this so? It is the fact that all sentient beings have no form of self, human, life, or longevity, and cannot form or have any illegal form. With the martial arts essence of the heavenly gang technique, which is domineering to the yang and righteousness, supplemented by the Vitra Zen, and with the mind of emptiness and clarity, Zhang Yuanqing aims to create an unparalleled hard qigong that combines the military's esoteric technique of not moving like a mountain, moving like thunder and lightning, invading like fire, walking like a forest. Qi flows through the eight meridians and transports the entire universe. The whole body is full of qi and blood, like burning fire cooking oil. The blood, flesh, tendons, and bones are connected to the true qi, and the qi is transmitted through the will, reaching the hundred meetings. The scorching sun in the sky is the moment and the yang energy between heaven and earth is most vigorous. Above the mountain peak, winds come from all directions. In the mountains and rivers, we gather the spiritual energy of all things. After three years of hard study at the Sutra Pavilion, Zhang Yuanqing had enough foundation to deduce in his mind. Coupled with his talent for double pupils and extraordinary intelligence, he quickly caught the fleeting spiritual opportunity. I saw him emitting scorching waves of energy all over his body, and every inch of his muscles, bones, skin, and flesh that his true energy swam through were silently undergoing transformation. A dazzling golden light gradually covered the whole body. At three quarters in the afternoon, Zhang Yuanqing had completely become a Jinren. At the foot of the mountain, the four generals were silently watching this scene. What is he doing? Ingo's cold face showed a hint of doubt, and she turned her head to ask the general. At this moment, the generals were eagerly observing Zhang Yuanqing's changes, and upon hearing this, they began to explain, he is using the technique of creation. As soon as these words were spoken, Ho Qing became interested and looked up and down at Zhang Yuanqing, who had already turned into a golden little golden man, saying, hmm, climb to the top of the mountain, sit with the wind, seize the creation of heaven and earth, and create divine skills. You are of high quality. The welding rod on the side was completely focused on sketching the paper figure he had tied up. Upon hearing this, he looked up and showed no interest in it. The obsession with Zhang Yuanqing's body in the eyes of the generals became increasingly insane, and their crimson tongue couldn't help but lick their lips. I didn't expect his talent to be so incredible. Perhaps I could ask him to help me deduce that technique. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Such a clever brain, but its body is so charming and it has a double pair of pupils. It's really. 
the general grabbed his hair in agony, wishing to fly over and place Zhang Yuanqing's head on him immediately. At this point, the creation of Zhang Yuan's refreshing technique has come to an end. Quickly pinching the formula with both hands, the domineering true energy of the extreme yang and hardness condenses, and the golden light around the body quickly fades and converges. With a loud shout, the fiery Jiang Chu Qi erupted. The huge waves surged like a storm. It's done. Zhang Yuanqing was sweating profusely, lifting his right hand and clenching his fist. The constant surge of strength in his body filled him with joy. I'll call you. Vajra is not a bad divine skill. Vajra is not a bad divine skill, and after practicing it, one's golden body is not bad. In the world, except for experts who far exceed their own strength, they cannot break the skill. The power of the golden body is invincible, with unparalleled strength. It does not require any internal power, and can stand undefeated solely by its own terrifying power. After practicing this skill, the appearance of the human body is like wearing gold armor, which can resist all external attacks and strengthen the whole body into a golden body, becoming an invincible and invincible person of the Vajra, hence the name. Once this divine skill is transformed, the whole body will turn golden yellow, becoming a true, invincible, invincible, and invincible Vajra. And the higher the skill, the better its defense effect, speed, immunity, and destructive power. I see, who else can hurt me this time? The scene of a bullet piercing through the city of Chang'an and a few days ago when Zhang Yuanqing fought his life to retrieve a life from Ingo's hand made him sleepless all night. This also gave birth to this unparalleled divine skill. From now on, from now on, my body, Zhang Yuanqing, is sacred and inviolable. Just as Zhang Yuanqing was lost in pride, a gentle voice suddenly came from behind. Yo, what is my younger brother talking about? Let my sister take a good look. The general reached out and touched Zhang Yuanqing. Zhang Yuanqing's face turned pale with fear and he shouted, Don't come over. What's the shame? I haven't seen anything on you before. I'll touch and feel. You have such strong chest muscles. Let me take a look. Go away, don't force me to hit you. Let me take a look quickly. So many people, hey, don't. Someone. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Zhu Wen returns to the Tang Dynasty. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5. Zhu Wen returns to the Tang Dynasty on that day, when Huang Chao captured Chang'an. He dug three feet deep but found less than 100,000 tails of silver. In a fit of anger, he even carried out a massacre. 300 years ago, Chang'an was set on fire, and the fire lasted for three days and three nights before gradually ceasing. Emperor Shizong fled without a trace. The feudal lords of the world rose up one after another to serve the king, causing chaos and war to break out. Liang Army Camp Zhu Wen's face was solemn as he looked at a group of experts from the Xianming sect and said, Everyone, raising soldiers for a thousand days and using them for a while. Now, the yellow thieves are causing trouble to the world. To protect the country and land of the Tang dynasty, we have to take action. Just yesterday, there were rumors in the martial arts world that the Longquan treasure, which could revive the foundation of the Tang dynasty, was located in Chang'an city. This item must not fall into the hands of Huang Chao, otherwise. As he spoke, Zhu Wen's cold gaze scanned the crowd and said in a deep voice, the Tang dynasty no longer exists. Zhu Wen raised his wine bottle and said loudly, Everyone, for the sake of the Tang dynasty and His Majesty the Emperor, are you willing to fight to the death with this general and the yellow thief? As soon as these words were spoken, someone immediately responded. We, Brothers Jiang, are willing to die for the general and for the great Tang dynasty's land and country. We are willing to. Seeing the fleeting ambition in Zhu Wen's eyes, Zhang Yuanqing sighed in her heart. Grand Marshal, because you attempted to incite Huang Chao to rebel and warn Emperor Shizong, but let out the long dormant grasslands of the world. 
The revival of the Tang Dynasty. It's just a joke. At this moment, Meng Pe stepped forward and said, General, I am old and weak, and I am afraid I won't be able to go to the battlefield to kill the enemy and share your worries. I am willing to stay in the army and do my best to manage the affairs of the Xianming sect. Upon hearing this, Zhu Wen also readily agreed. Okay, since that's the case, my friend, you can lead the army forward. Zhu Yugui stepped forward and received orders, my child, please obey. The army soon marched forward. Zhang Yuanqing, the demon lord, also marched into Chang'an with the four great corpses. Along the way, jackdaws flew by, and the road was filled with starving bodies. The bare bark and scorched earth were everywhere, telling the story of how hard it was to survive in this chaotic world. As he continued to investigate, Huang Chao's actions became even more astonishing. He even indulged his subordinates more and more, and burning, killing, and looting had become a habit among them. I think Huang Chao's initial goal was not to seek justice for the people, but just for his own benefit. The Sodot called Rebel Army is just another evil ghost lying on the people, sucking blood. Now his army has no military discipline, it's just a group of bandits and bandits who make a living by plundering and slaughtering. After Huang Chao ascended the throne and proclaimed himself emperor in Chang'an, the situation in the world was indeed extremely favorable to him. At that time, most people believed that the Qi regime established by Huang Chao would replace the rule of the Tang dynasty. Many Tang dynasty officials changed their flags and flags, and joined the Huang Chao camp. Only Zhang Yuanqing knew that the end of Huang Chao was coming. If his virtue does not match his position, there will inevitably be disasters. An emperor must be someone who has established the world, rather than leading an uprising army to burn, kill, and plunder like he is now. Now that Huang Chao has driven away the emperor of the Tang dynasty, he has not focused his energy on governing the world, but instead colludes with the palace maids in the harem. How is this different from Dong Zhuo? Along the way, after multiple inquiries, it was learned that Tang Shizong had already arrived in Hanzhong. Emperor Shizong reorganized the front line, declared to all the feudal lords and quickly sent troops to Qin Wang to suppress the Yellow Bandits. Outside the city of Luoyang, the Liang army set up camp. Zhang Yuanqing, along with the four great corpse ancestors and other masters of the Xianming sect, immediately infiltrated Luoyang and found a deserted courtyard to hide. Waiting for the news from the army, they joined forces with Zhu Yugui to capture Luoyang. Chang'an has been destroyed and there is no one to smoke. Huang Chao has already moved into Luoyang to enjoy it. And Huang Chao was still in theft with officials, singing and singing every night. It should be noted that at this time, the state and county were still under the control of the Tang Dynasty government army, and Huang Chao only occupied a few places around Chang'an and Luoyang. At night. Luoyang in Tian Gate. A rocket shot into the sky, using it as a signal, the members of the Xianming sect in the city took off their disguise and launched a killing spree. Kill. The pitch black night was filled with blood. Zhang Yuanqing was the first to kill towards the city gate. Enemy attack. The sound of the golden gong caused chaos in the city. The flames surged into the sky, and a large army outside the city pressed down on the border. The cries of killing were deafening. The bloody smell stimulated Firefly's bloodthirsty nerves, and her eyes were gradually covered with murderous intent. The domineering crimson internal force surged out, transforming into a female cultivator and strangling the enemy. Zhang Yuanqing was at the forefront, using silent techniques to push his speed to its peak. He remained silent, and wherever he passed, people and horses split apart. The soldiers in the city and the scoundrels in the market are all in a state of panic. Some people see black-clad ghosts wandering on the streets, and anyone they encounter directly dies mysteriously. They think it's their own actions, which angers heaven and brings revenge from the dead. Although manpower will eventually be exhausted, the absolute crushing of power causes an uncontrollable fear in the enemy's heart. 
At this moment, the entire Chang'an city heard the earth-shattering shout of killing. The defending general of Huang Chao felt uneasy and quickly asked his own people to quickly support in Tianmen. Ho Qin carried a red umbrella with him, revealing the domineering aspect of the Tears of Blood record. With the internal power running, the surrounding enemy forces were hit one after another, their heart beating rapidly, and their blood was compressed to burst their heart. Some people feel that the wound on their body is constantly bleeding, and in no time, the blood dries up and they die. All the masters have made their moves, and none of them can match one to ten. At this moment, seeing the constantly surging enemy troops around, Welding Ba released paper figures. As the enemy approached, flames accompanied by huge explosions echoed through the night sky. But after the enemy kills one wave, there is still one wave left. If they don't have reinforcements before their internal strength is depleted, they will really be consumed alive. Quick, open the city gate. The general killed an enemy and shouted at Zhang Yuanqing and Ingo. Zhang Yuanqing immediately rose up from the ground, his body soaring into mid-air. The true qi of the two palms erupted, and the vigorous qi blasted out three Zhang, killing the enemies arched and arched at the city head one after another. Ingo rushed out through the gap, killing all the enemies at the city gate, and then imprinted his palm on the gate. Thick internal strength surges out, but cannot shake it at all. Without a single blow, Ingo couldn't hold her face. With both fists clenched tightly, the ferocious true energy burst out with all its might, and the attack was as fast as lightning, hitting the city gate with one fist. The Liang army outside the city could only hear the rapid and loud sound, as if a storm was coming, the sound was deafening. Stop hitting, if you hit again, everyone will be shocked to death by you. Zhang Yuanqing rushed over and grabbed the crazy firefly hook. The slightly weaker friendly army behind them was shaken to the point of unbearable pain in their organs. If this continues, there may be very few standing. Dare to slap your forehead, you want to die. Being thrown away by a firefly hook, Ishanto was killed. He raised his hand and punched Zhang Yuanqing, regardless of whether he was friendly or hostile. Dang! With a flash of golden light, Zhang Yuanqing showcased his diamond immortal skill. With a punch from the firefly hook, it seemed to hit an iron plate, causing his internal organs to tremble. Ah! Zhang Yuanqing let out a roar, and the power of the diamond burst out in a fierce manner. Infinite divine power emerged, and the gate weighing a thousand pounds suddenly opened. Zhu Yugui was overjoyed at the sight. The city gate has opened, and the soldiers have followed me into the city. The next day, Zhu Wen stepped into Luoyang with great joy, and Chang'an was also recaptured. Unfortunately, it was run away by Huang Chao. Quickly, with the assistance of the Xianming sect led by Zhang Yuanqing, Zhu Wen continuously regained lost territory. Sanzhou and other places have all been taken into their pockets. Zhu Wen was overjoyed that the Xianming sect had just been established, which brought him the situation in Sanzhou city. Many chaotic parties were secretly eliminated by them, and he easily took over various affairs in Sanzhou. The Xianming sect led by Zhang Yuanqing had all sorts of abilities, including stealth, assassination, and exploration, which forced Zhu Wen to add a few more resources to Zhang Yuanqing. After learning of Zhu Wen's victory over Huang Chao and the recovery of Luoyang, Chang'an and other places in Shu County, Tang Shizong was overjoyed and immediately issued an edict to appoint Zhu Wen as the general of the left Jin Wuwei and the deputy recruiter of the Hezhong camp, and bestowed the name Chuanzhong. End of this chapter Chapter 6 6 Interlude You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 6 Interlude Zhu Wen's defection to Tang dealt a fatal blow to Huang Chao, causing him to be attacked both inside and outside. At this time, Li Qiong, Song Wentong, and others also stirred up the world. Song Wentong was named Li Maozhen and granted the title of Fengxiang for his meritorious service in protecting Emperor Shizong. 
Li Qiong, due to his outstanding military achievements, was conferred the title of King of Jin and commanded the territory of the three Jin dynasties. In July of the same year, Zhu Wen entered Bianzhou and became the military governor, making Bianzhou his stronghold and known as the King of Lian. At that time, famine was rampant in areas such as Bien and Song, and the supplies used by officials and civilians were exhausted. The arrogance of internal and external troops was difficult to suppress, facing internal and external crises. However, Zhu Wen's military strength continued to increase. With the rise of war, the Xianming sect played an increasingly important role in it, and Zhang Yuanqing's influence in the sect grew higher and higher, faintly becoming his one man. This made Zhu Wen extremely fearful, and immediately ordered Zhu Yugui to summon experts to join the Xianming sect again to divide Zhang Yuanqing's power. As a confidant of Zhu Yugui, Meng Pe became the top choice. But these Zhang Yuanqing have no time for him to worry, he only wants to get rid of the torment of those four mental illnesses now. On this day, in the soldier's cabin, sitting facing north, the room was eerie and eerie. The wind blew through the window, and the human skin hanging on the beam swayed, swaying and dragging the rope, emitting a chilling sound of emptiness. The general held Zhang Yuanqing's hand and happily showed him his masterpiece. A series of human meridian and skeletal muscle atlases are pasted on the wall, exquisite and rigorous, making it a medical treasure. Zhang Yuanqing's gaze was firmly locked in these scrolls, and it was not difficult to imagine how many flesh and blood bodies were poured into the generals. But the significance of these picture scrolls is that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, and the sin lies in the present era, and the merit lies in the future. The general wrapped his hands around his chest and was full of confidence in his masterpiece, saying, How's it going? Aren't you very skilled, sister? Amazing. The title of, Ghost Doctor General, is really not for nothing. Zhang Yuanqing sincerely praised. Upon hearing this, the generals eagerly grabbed Zhang Yuanqing's hand as if they had found a close friend, and enthusiastically explained to him the meaning of the human body's veins and patterns. Do you know that everyone, regardless of gender, has the same meridians in their body? Why are some people born with the ability to practice qi, while others cannot? Why do some people have physical disabilities but can practice peerless divine skills, while others have intact skin but cannot practice qi for life? Why can a warrior penetrate the ren and do meridians but ascend to the sky in one step? The general finished speaking and lay on Zhang Yuanqing's chest, staring at him with pink seductive eyes. It seems like saying, ask me, ask me, and I'll tell you. Zhang Yuanqing already knew her temperament and said calmly, oh. Oh. What does oh mean? The general's face darkened, and he choked his waist with both hands, glaring at him angrily. Don't you think that a strange person is born weak and can practice qi and martial arts? A punch can break mountains and rocks to defeat weakness, while a tiger is born strong but confused. I'm not curious, Zhang Yuanqing said expressionlessly, aren't you curious why I study the mysteries of the human body? I'm not curious. Aren't you curious why I want your eyes? I'm not curious. You're curious. Zhang Yuanqing only felt a flower in front of him, and the general's face twisted with anger. A green onion finger poked his chest, forcing him to constantly retreat. Say you're curious. Zhang Yuanqing's eyes showed a hint of smile, and he forced himself to look calm and turned his head away. I'm not really curious. Wow, I'm so angry. The generals were incompetent and furious, scratching their ears and cheeks in anger. Seeing that Zhang Yuan was really about to leave, the general suddenly turned around, with a slightly higher tone. Do you know why I saved you from being seriously injured and on the brink of death that day? Why didn't I take advantage of others' danger to gouge out your eyes when you were severely injured by fireflies? Because my internal energy of the divine illumination technique works on its own to repair injuries, if you find it novel, you want to keep me for research and also extract the secret techniques of my cultivation. As for why you didn't gouge out my eyes. 
Zhang Yuanqing slowly turned his head, with a hint of coldness in his eyes, and said, because you didn't expect me to wake up so quickly. The general smiled awkwardly twice and then said, Do you know that I want your martial arts skills? What are the means? I know that using the collecting yang and supplementing yin or the harmful and self-beneficial double cultivation secret technique can absorb the true qi in my body. With your beauty and seduction, I'm afraid it's difficult for me to control it. Upon hearing these words, the general's pretty face turned slightly hot. Unexpectedly, Zhang Yuanqing's next words made her want to chop him up and feed him to the dog. Not to mention that you are an old ox eating tender grass, but even so, I don't want to pull out your old onion here. You old onion you old scallion old scallions old. Scallions. The general was so angry that his lungs were about to explode and his teeth were about to break. A strange yin chi rose from the general's body, like a hundred ghosts walking at night and ghosts and gods howling. Wait, wait a moment. Zhang Yuanqing knew he had played too much and desperately wanted to escape. Die for me. Bang. The cabin was bombed into the sky, and our demon lord flew up with it. In the distance, Ho Qing, who was painting an umbrella, shook his head when he saw this scene and blew a small mouthful to dry the red paint on the umbrella surface. I've already said that women's minds are unpredictable, and the most troublesome thing is not to listen. Zhongnan Mountain Sangbing Valley Pavilions and pavilions, with green tiles and red walls. In the quiet rooms of the city walls and pavilions, Yuan Tiangang, wearing a bamboo hat and mask, looked at the screen in front of him in silence. The one Zhang wide screen depicts a map of the nine provinces of the world. The faded Tang dynasty was divided into four parts, with Qi, Jin, and Liang having the strongest and strongest territories, followed by Chu, Wu, and others. And the originally dominant yellow gradually faded away from its color and is about to leave the stage. Yuan Tiangang picked up a red pen and lifted his hand to erase the yellow character. At this moment, a villain wearing a hat and a mask suddenly appeared. Marshal, bad people from Bianzhou are reporting this. Speak. Yuan Tiangang stopped his movements, put down his red pen, and said calmly. I hereby report to the Grand Marshal that last month Huang Chao's trusted General Meng Kai was ambushed and killed. Huang Chao was furious and gathered his main force to attack Qinzhou, vowing to avenge Meng Kai. The Emperor ordered Zhu Wen to send troops to assist Qinzhou, and now Zhu Wen has assembled a large army and set off. At this time, the grain in Huang Chao was cut off and burned by Li Qiong. The defending general of Qinzhou once again defended the walls and cleared the fields. There were no people or food in a radius of 60 miles, and the food and forage of the 180,000 army gradually ran out. The most brutal thing happened. Huang Chao used human flesh as food and forage, which was unacceptable. Its defeat was a foregone conclusion. It's not surprising that Yuan Tiangang had already guessed the ending. He only heard his hoarse and deep voice coming and asked, Is there any news about the demon lord Chonglu that you asked to investigate? This. The unscrupulous person made a mistake and stuttered, that person has been wearing a mask since he appeared, never showing his true face to others, and the internal strength he used cannot tell which sect he belongs to, but it is mostly a profound Taoist mental technique. Yuan Tiangang's mask was displeased and he said coldly, A group of trash, I have to worry about such a small matter. Please calm down, General. The wicked person trembled with fear and knelt on the ground, kowtowing incessantly. Yuan Tiangang silently sighed and suddenly stopped bothering, It's okay, you go first. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Goodbye, Bad Handsome you are listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 7 Goodbye, Bad Handsome the next day. The bright sun shines in the sky, and the wind is gentle and sunny. Ho Qing's door was suddenly rudely pushed open, and a figure jumped in, then slammed the door tightly. The person moved a table and blocked the door, feeling uneasy. 
Ho Qing, who was about to take a nap, was suddenly awakened and stared at John Yuan Qing with bright eyes. He said, Brother Chong Lu, in broad daylight, you forced your intrusion into my room, but you wanted to do something inappropriate. I can't do it anymore. Brother Ho Qing can borrow your room to hide. Zhang Yuan Qing turned around panting heavily and met Ho Qing's strange gaze. Brother Chong Lu, your lips are. Quite. Zhang Yuan Qing's pink and tender sausage lips swayed up and down with the ups and downs of her body, very playful. Zhang Yuan Qing's face flashed with a hint of awkwardness, and in an instant, he said seriously, practicing martial arts, I have diverted my breath. I'm holding it back. Ho Qing exclaimed, I see. Why are you panicking? Zhang Yuan Qing sighed and sat down on the ground with lingering fear, explaining, it's not because of your sister. That's not right. Ho Qing stood up straight and sat up, pinching his chin for a moment of contemplation, saying, with your martial arts skills, the generals are not your opponents at all. Can you say it's Ingo? Zhang Yuan Qing painfully covered his head, inserted his fingers into his hair, and pulled his face. His sausages opened and closed, saying, I can handle just one, but I can't hold on to them both. I almost died, do you know? Ho Qing's eyes showed a hint of gossip, and he flashed up to Zhang Yuan Qing. Tell me quickly. Can you stop staring at my mouth all the time? Um. Okay. Ho Qing turned his head, but couldn't help but glance at each other. Curious and sexy, take a look again. Half an hour ago. Zhang Yuan Qing was using his martial arts skills to heal his injuries in the room, but to his surprise, the generals had taken too much action that day, with blood stasis mixed with internal strength. Even after one night, he couldn't reduce the swelling. The internal force, mixed with remaining blood stasis, was surging wildly. It took Zhang Yuan Qing a lot of effort to control it, but as a result, he looked in the mirror early in the morning and found himself with a pair of large sausage mouths. He is also a person who values face. He thought to himself that he couldn't appear in public with a pair of masks and couldn't put them on, so he wanted to go out and hide. Early in the morning, he was kicked open by the firefly hook and inexplicably pulled him away. I can't control my killing intent anymore. Use your hard work that day to practice with you. That's not all. Just a few steps outside, I met a general who came to question me and ask why I haven't apologized to her after so long. Losing someone twice in less than a pillar of incense makes anyone feel uncomfortable. One forcefully pulled him to practice, while the other fanned the flames and said that he had already promised her to study the mysteries of the human body. At that time, Zhang Yuan Qing was only two years old. The two of them started arguing, completely ignoring his feelings. In the end, the two of them stumbled and wanted to split him in half. He also said, with your skills, even if you are split in half for a while, you will not die. Zhang Yuan Qing angrily grabbed Ho Qing's shoulder, tears in his eyes. Are you listening to this being in human language? What a sexy sausage mouth, I really want to laugh. Ho Qing's attention was completely focused on his mouth, and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but rise. He he, the expression on Zhang Yuanqing's face suddenly stiffened. Are you laughing at me? Ho Qing regained consciousness, with a smile still lingering on his face. No, you read it wrong. Continue. Zhang Yuanqing opened his mouth and was about to speak when a loud noise suddenly came from the door behind him. Countless sawdust flew out. Ingo walked slowly over, her body full of evil energy resembling substance, shrouded in a terrifying killing intent. She lifted her crimson eyes and stared coldly at Zhang Yuan Qing, saying word by word, You, now, follow your forehead, otherwise I'll kill you. Zhang Yuan calmly patted the dust on his body, and a golden light appeared in his eyes. If we ignore that pair of huge sausages at this moment, his momentum will be no less than that of Ingo. Hey hey hey, don't do anything, speak up if you have something to say. The general rushed over from behind and quickly grabbed the firefly hook that was about to go berserk. 
Then he blinked at Zhang Yuanqing and said, Good brother, do you think this is okay? Since you're idle, why don't you study the human body with me for a single day and suppress your internal strength with firefly hook for two days? Do you think this is okay? Single day and double day, why do these words sound so familiar? Zhang Yuanqing's corner of the eye twitched, only feeling that the road ahead was pitch black. Ingo said, I agree. Today is a single day, you can follow me. After saying this, she restrained her killing spirit and turned away. Zhang Yuanqing walked silently and looked at the generals holding their chests in both hands, seeing a fleeting sense of pride in their eyes. You're not going to set me up, are you? At night. Zhang Yuanqing dragged his tired body back. Suddenly stopped walking. A tall figure wearing a hat and a mask appeared in front of him out of thin air. The person in front of him was just standing there, with an overwhelming aura that almost suffocated him. Zhang Yuanqing's pupils contracted and he quickly lowered his body to worship. I am not a good person under my command, but I am from a different star. Please refer to the Grand Marshal. So it's you. A strange color flashed in Yuan Tiangang's eyes and he said, I didn't expect your skill to have broken through the heavenly realm. It seems that the hexagram I made that day was truly effective. Turns out he knew I was still alive. Zhang Yuanqing couldn't help but sweat a little from behind, his head buried lower. Yuan Tiangang said again, originally, I intended to place you elsewhere. Since you are already in a high position, then I won't do it too much. All at the command of the Grand Marshal. Zhang Yuanqing spoke respectfully, constantly paying attention to Yuan Tiangang's emotional changes. Yuan Tiangang carried his hands behind his back and slowly turned around to fold off a peach blossom. He asked, How do you feel after staying with Zhu Wen for so long? Hui Das Hai, Zhu Wen is ambitious and has long had a heart of disobedience, which will inevitably lead to disaster in the future. Yuan Tiangang paid no attention to this. After a light laugh, he said again, Although Zhu Wen is ambitious, he still has some use. Keeping him can help clear some obstacles for the Tang Dynasty. Is what the Grand Marshal said about Huang Chao. Not bad Yuan Tian Gang continued. Huang Chao stirred up a rebellion and disrupted the foundation of our Tang Dynasty, which is a crime worthy of death. I heard that Zhu Wen and other allied forces have trapped Huang Chao soldiers in the Wolf Tiger Valley of Mount Taishan Mountain. I want you to kill this Liao yourself, without mistake. Zhang Yuanqing was taken aback by the words and immediately understood the interests involved. Killing the rebel leader is a great achievement, and the emperor will definitely personally summon him. Not to mention the generous rewards, let alone the intangible reputation and prestige, which cannot be compromised in any way. Especially for the feudal lords who are occupying one side, they will definitely use this to expand, in order to prevent a situation where the tail is too big to fall. I obey your orders. At a glance, Yuan Tiangang knew that Zhang Yuanqing had already understood, so he stopped talking and took out a secret book from his pocket. The Japanese commander once promised that you would receive a heavy reward for your meritorious service in defending the city, and this book, Huayang Needle Technique, will be rewarded to you. After speaking, Zhang Yuanqing looked up and Yuan Tiangang had long disappeared. Zhang Yuanqing looked at the secret collection of Huayang Needle in front of him, lost in thought for a long time. He didn't tell me that Meng Po was Shi Yao, it seems he still can't fully trust me. Zhang Yuanqing's eyes showed a hint of complexity, and he picked up the secret collection on the ground and walked away without looking back. Only a sigh of disappointment remained. Great Handsome End of this chapter Chapter 8 Breaking the Formation. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Breaking the Formation Outside the Wolf Tiger Valley of Mount Taishan, there is a scene of desolation. Huang Chao led his subordinates to resist stubbornly and defend against danger, resulting in countless casualties among the coalition forces. The sky is shrouded in dark clouds, with sudden changes in wind and clouds. 
The blood-stained banners rustled in the wind, the soldiers stood ready, and the cold light emitted by the weapons pierced the bones. Seeing that he couldn't attack for a long time, Zhu Wen made a mistake. The coalition forces each had their own ulterior motives, and no one wanted their subordinates to sacrifice unnecessarily. However, everyone wanted the credit for killing Huang Chao, and the feudal lords in the camp held their own opinions for a while. Just as they were arguing uncontrollably, Zhang Yuanqing, wearing a mask, walked in. Don't argue anymore, everyone. The camp instantly quieted down. Zhang Yuanqing bowed in the direction of Zhu Wen and said, I am willing to share your worries with His Highness the Prince of Liang. Upon hearing this, Zhu Wen's face showed a hint of joy, but soon it was pressed down in his heart and he scolded, There's no room for you to speak here. Get down here. Wait a moment. Li Ku interrupted with a loud voice and said, Since there is such a brave warrior under the account of King Liang, and since he volunteered, it's better to listen to what he has in mind. Upon hearing this, the feudal lords nodded in agreement. Tell me quickly, what do you have in mind? Zhang Yuanqing did not answer, but a gust of wind surged through his robe. The raging true qi erupts like towering waves surging endlessly. I only need one person to break into the enemy's formation and defeat it at an extremely fast speed. At that time, everyone can take advantage of the situation and annihilate the rebels in one fell swoop. Among them, Li Keyong's eyes showed a hint of fear, and his heart was filled with waves. This person's martial arts had reached a great level, and I didn't expect Zhu Wan, a fat thief, to have such an expert working hard for him. He must be my strong enemy in the future. What do you think? As soon as this statement is made, no one thinks it's impossible. How can one defeat a thousand armies and horses with just one great celestial position? If you go, you're just dying. But this great position is someone else's subordinate, why not die? Let him give it a try, King Liang. Yeah, anyway, we're all at a loss. Since this warrior risked his life, we can't be too difficult, can we? I agree. I also agree. Zhu Wen's face turned green and red, but he let out a cold snort without saying much. Since someone is so reckless, if he dies, he will go and die. Anyway, he is also very afraid of the strength of this demon lord in his heart. He won't say anything about taking the opportunity to eliminate others. When the time comes, he only needs to show off, and the Xianming sect will naturally be his own. Farewell. After Zhang Yuanqing finished speaking, he turned around and left. Outside the camp, the four generals had been waiting for a long time. Are you really going to die? The general looked at him with a serious expression, with a worried expression in his eyes. Zhang Yuanqing smiled and handed her the already written Shen Zhao Gong secret collection from his arms. Take it, remember to return it to me. After speaking, he refused their proposal to go together and flew alone down the hill, rushing towards the Huangchao camp. He is very fast, at first glance like a clear wind brushing over the hills, climbing over the hills, bypassing enemy lines, pulling up steep mountain walls, and jumping down from the top of the mountain. Zhang Yuanqing descended from the sky, like a shooting star about to fall. Thundering to the ground, rolling up a thousand piles of dust. Enemy attack. The defenders of the camp noticed something unusual in this area and immediately shouted loudly. The army quickly surrounded and fought fiercely, ready to fight. The smoke and dust had not yet dissipated, and Zhang Yuanqing emerged from the sky like a sharp arrow. Even though we may be outnumbered by the enemy, the silent skill is a peerless lightness skill that can move freely among thousands of troops. The enemy army is pressing down, but Zhang Yuanqing's goal is not to completely annihilate the enemy, but to carry out the beheading operation and kill the bandit leader Huang Chao. Zhang Yuanqing snatched the enemy's spear and kicked it away, piercing through. Seeing the enemy's formation open a gap, Zhang Yuanqing's true energy exploded, like a tiger entering a flock of sheep, and his vigorous energy rampaged along. Wherever he passed, he annihilated all the enemies, 
and Zhang Yuanqing rushed in like entering an uninhabited territory. In less than a pillar of incense, all 300 enemy troops surrounding him were killed. A ferocious and gloomy demon mask, dressed in a black robe adorned with evil energy, like the wings of a demon spreading out, the Shura who hunts down the lives of the world. Zhang Yuanqing killed the enemy with fear and fear. Are they really fighting against people? Shoot arrows. A general shouted loudly. But there are still our people. Listen to me, shoot arrows. Su Su Su. Ten thousand arrows shot at once. The overwhelming rain of arrows was like a dark cloud covering the top, attempting to suppress Zhang Yuanqing's footsteps as he rushed in. Seeing countless sharp arrows about to pierce through his body. At the critical moment, a golden light suddenly appeared in Zhang Yuanqing's eyes. Vajra is not a bad divine skill. Ding 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 ding. Zhang Yuanqing braved the rain of arrows and charged with meteors, with arrows nailed to his body without pain or itching, and was shaken away by the power of the protective Vajra. Monster, monster! A frightened shout came from the crowd. For a moment, the enemy army was in chaos and at a loss. Inside the large tent of the central army, Huang Chao heard a lot of noise outside and asked, what happened? Did the Tang army come? One person replied, Your Majesty, it's not the Tang army, but a person. At this moment, Zhang Yuanqing broke through the encirclement and burst out with his body, piercing through the enemy's formation like a long spear, approaching the main tent of the Huang Chao army. At this moment, a cold light shot out from within. It's a nine-ring golden sword. Zhang Yuanqing erected a double-arm grid. Dang! The blade collided with the golden body, making a deafening sound. Zhang Yuanqing felt a tremendous force strike and staggered back a few steps. A large man with a tattoo flew out and caught the golden knife, blocking Zhang Yuanqing. You have some skills, who are you? Zhang Yuanqing stood in place without saying a word. Seeing Zhang Yuanqing not speaking, the person's face darkened. He raised his golden knife and said, Anyway, since that's the case, then you're either dead or alive, let's see if you're strong or weak. After speaking, the person struck Hua Shan with one force and made a direct move. Zhang Yuanqing didn't dodge or dodge, he raised his hand and threw a punch. Dang! The blade collided with the fist, emitting a golden roar. The blade was shattered inch by inch by the power of King Kong, and the person's tiger mouth was torn apart. The whole person coughed up a mouthful of blood and flew out backwards. Zhang Yuanqing shifted his form and captured the man's face in mid-air, thrusting hard into the ground. You! The person looked at Zhang Yuanqing in shock, and before he could finish speaking, Zhang Yuanqing exerted force on him. With a click, the white flower's brain mixed with blood flowed out. Just. Died like this. How could it be so vulnerable? All of this happened too quickly, and the soldiers around had not yet reacted. Zhang Yuanqing lifted his foot and continued to move forward. As he passed by, the soldiers around him all gave way. What happened today is enough to be a nightmare that they will never forget in their lifetime. Zhang Yuanqing kept approaching Huang Chao's camp and said calmly, Huang Chao, if all your subordinates are of this kind, then you must die today. After speaking, the curtain of the tent suddenly lifted, and six black shadows passed by. Immediately after, Dao Han Mang attacked Zhang Yuanqing from all directions. Six people, six mid-heaven experts, all proficient in the art of assassination. The methods are cunning and ruthless, and with one move, it is the key to Zhang Yuanqing's success. Six in one, unparalleled in attack and attack. At this moment, the coalition forces outside the mountain valley launched an attack. Huang Chao's army is in chaos. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Huang Chao dies and enters the palace to see him. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Huang Chao dies and enters the palace to see him sand and stone splatter. 
Several iron ropes flew out of the dust, and the top iron claws seemed to have eyes, like coiled snakes, entangled around Zhang Yuanqing's hands and feet, making him unable to move for a moment. Don't worry, sir. Play for a while longer. The dust settled behind them, and the six of them worked together to firmly hold the invincible golden body of Zhang Yuanqing in place. Okay, then I'll play with you again. Zhang Yuanqing moved his head and showed a hint of ferocity. He let out a loud shout, and his internal power erupted from the divine illumination technique. His vigorous energy ravaged him, breaking all the iron ropes trapped around him. The leader of the six assassins said in a deep voice, Scatter. Six people retreat to avoid the sharp edge, and then work together to continuously create damage. The action trajectory coincides with the nine palaces and eight trigrams, and the five elements formation is deployed to continuously weaken Zhang Yuanqing's strength. The six masters sandwiched left and right, moving up and down, and launched a fierce attack like a storm, emitting a series of sounds of gold and stone attacks. No, if it continues like this, the diamond immortal skill will be broken. Zhang Yuanqing swung open a sword blade and secretly thought to himself. Under the demon mask, a double-eyed divine light appeared. The trajectory of the six people's movements and the flow of their qi are clearly visible. Zhang Yuanqing decisively dispersed the diamond immortal skill to lure the enemy deeper. His golden body is broken, kill. The assassin group really fell for it, and together they attacked to kill Zhang Yuanqing with one blow. Zhang Yuanqing's Palm Heart Divine Illumination skill concentrates his internal power, and his domineering and yang-like hand is brewing infinite divine power. The killing move had arrived, and Zhang Yuanqing suddenly slapped the ground. Bang! A surging internal force rushed out of the ground into an upward airflow. Not good. The leader felt uneasy, but his body was already stagnant and had nowhere to rely on. Zhang Yuanqing's figure flashed away, disappearing into thin air. I caught your flaw. Behind the six, there came Zhang Yuanqing's devilish whispers. They only felt a strong wind blowing past them, and then their bodies hurt. Their entire strength was instantly drained and they fell to the ground. At this moment, Zhang Yuanqing's momentum was no longer as fierce as before. Most of his internal strength is used to unleash the diamond immortal skill. Just now, he forcefully increased his speed to the peak with luck and broke through the fleeting flaw in the six-person joint attack technique. He was already exhausted and panting for breath. There is a top-notch expert like you in the world, and we have suffered a fair defeat. The eldest of the six struggled to prop up his body and said, taking off his mask and spitting out a mouthful of blood. His gaze towards Zhang Yuanqing had a hint of fear, as if respecting ghosts and gods. The six of them have a connected aura, both of whom are mid-heaven level experts. Their assassination techniques are unparalleled in the world, and even idle experts can only wait to die under their siege. But now it is seen that there are flaws in the operation of true qi, and one move has taken away all of its power without damage. Such strength is undoubtedly top-notch in the world. After taking a few breaths, Zhang Yuanqing continued to stand up and slowly walked towards Huang Chao. Along the way, no one can stop us. Even the courage to take the previous step is gone. At this moment, there was only one thought in the hearts of the people of Huang Chao. This person must be sent by heaven to end Huang Chao. This is heaven and man, and I am invincible. On the eighth day of the ninth lunar month in autumn, after the flowers bloom, I will kill a hundred flowers. The fragrant array will permeate Chang'an, and the city will be covered in golden armor. Who would have thought that once a poor scholar could now become the leader of the rebel army that shook the foundation of the dynasty? You are enough to leave a strong mark in history. Zhang Yuanqing walked up to Huang Chao, and the two were less than a foot apart. Even though Huang Chao stepped into the end, there was no panic in his eyes at this moment. Instead, he showed a relieved smile, like a saint about to be liberated. I didn't expect that the one who killed me wasn't the emperor, 
not the princes, generals, and ministers, but an unknown martial arts expert who didn't show his true face. Hee hee, you're very special. Zhang Yuanqing slowly raised his hand and placed it on Huang Chao's throat and asked, Huang Chao, now in the fields, do you regret it or not? Huang Chao nodded and shook his head again, saying, Regret, I don't regret either. I regret losing my life in this situation where I once gained power, lost the hearts of the people, disregarded the principles of heaven and human relationships, and ended up in dire straits. I truly regret that I lost my life. But. Huang Chao suddenly paused, with a divine light in his eyes that resembled the rising sun. At that moment, he seemed to have become the cowherd boy lying on the big green ox reading again. But in this already fundamentally corrupt world, the Li Tang royal family did not act, and those who held official positions were even more tyrannical and arbitrary. They were the servants of the people who did nothing, were extravagant and debauched, and the desires of the poor world were not enough for their pleasure. Do you think there is still a need for such a dynasty to exist? Zhang Yuanqing remained silent for a moment. For a long time, Zhang Yuanqing put down the hand clasped around Huang Chao's neck. If I say it doesn't count, I'll give it to future generations for evaluation, let history books comment on it. Ha ha ha. Huang Chao burst out laughing, tears in his eyes, and his gaze at Zhang Yuanqing was like that of a confidant. He drew the sword from his waist and placed it around his neck. Since you are sensible, I will send you a fortune and honor. After I die, I will cut off my head and bury my body, okay? Okay. Pui. A blood arrow flew out, and Huang Chao's fate returned to the mysterious world. The death of Huang Chao foreshadowed the end of the peasant uprising in the late Tang dynasty and marked the beginning of a larger chaotic era. Times change, often only in a blink of an eye. Zhang Yuanqing took the sword from Huang Chao's hand, started and fell, and chopped off his head. Those who kill Huang Chao are also members of the Xianming sect's important building. Wuyang Imperial Palace On the white jade cloud stairs, an inner attendant dressed in black brocade hung his throat and loudly called out. Colonel of the Xianliang army, meet at the Chonglu. Outside the Zhumen gate of the imperial city, Zhang Yuanqing was dressed in a luxurious robe and took off his mask, revealing a handsome and elegant face. In order to cover his ears and eyes, he deliberately put on a black ribbon to cover his eyes. This not only did not destroy the beauty of this face, but also added a touch of cool charm that could be tolerated and played with. Zhang Yuanqing stood under the cloud steps, leisurely wandering with a few thin clouds in the sky. He looked up and saw that the magnificent palace of gold and jade seemed to be nestled in the clouds, not a fairy palace but a fairy palace. The roof figures bathed in the sun on the palace is shining, which seems to have passed through a thousand years of time and space for a moment. History and reality overlap, creating a sense of disorganized weightlessness. Time passes by, and the stars move around. The things are still there, but the people watching have changed one batch after another. I don't know if a thousand years later, when future generations visit this place, they will think of the spirited young man who is now. Just as Zhang Yuanqing was losing consciousness, his arm was suddenly touched by someone. Colonel, the emperor is waiting. Zhang Yuanqing came to his senses and realized that he was no longer the young man of those peaceful years. Let's go. He said, lifting his foot and continuing forward. As he walked through the magnificent gate, he saw the civil and martial arts of the court, as well as the weather dragon robe on the dragon chair. Zhang Yuanqing held his head and chest high, strode up to the front of the hall, and bowed down with a majestic demeanor to pay homage. My lord, the colonel of the Liang army, the tower. See your majesty the great Tang emperor. Long live the emperor, long live the emperor. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 General Jin Wuwei, awarded the title of Champion Marquis. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 General Jin Wuwei, awarded the title of Champion Marquis, A.I. Qing is exempt from flattery and has a flat body. 
Shizong's sickly face showed a hint of blush, indicating a clear lack of vital energy. Zhang Yuanqing could tell from it that this emperor's time was running out. Your Majesty, thank you. Zhang Yuanqing straightened up and stood up. Seeing Zhang Yuanqing's appearance, Emperor Shizong couldn't help but ask, why did A.I. Qing cover her eyes? Your Majesty, my eyes have been injured and my appearance has been broken. I can no longer see things. To avoid Your Majesty's worries, I have deliberately done so. I hope Your Majesty can understand. Upon hearing this, Emperor Shizong didn't say much, just casually comforted him with a few words. He said again, on that day, A.I. Qing broke into the camp of Huang Chao alone. He was so brave that he was truly a young hero. Heaven has bestowed upon me the pillar of the Tang dynasty. Upon hearing these words, various officials flattered with beautiful words such as, This is your majesty's great fortune. After a few pleasantries, Emperor Shizong asked again, I Qing has made great contributions. I have no objection to what you want. I did this for the sake of the Tang dynasty, for the sake of your majesty, and for the sake of being a vassal, it is my wish. There is no need to reward me. Emperor Shizong's face showed displeasure and he said in a deep voice, Why, even if I open my mouth, I will still break my promise. Isn't it rumored that people will say I am cruel and ungrateful? Seeing Emperor Shizong's insistence on rewarding Zhang Yuanqing, Zhu Wen's eyes turned and he stood up to propose, I would like to inform your majesty that Chong Lu is actually a person who cares about the people. When serving in our army, he always charges forward and is loyal and brave only for the Tang dynasty. Now that he has paid his respects to the Holy Emperor, it has also been a matter of his own concern. As for the reward. I hope your majesty can understand. As for the wish of the Colonel of Chong Lu, it will be. As soon as these words were spoken, Li Qiong, who was standing next to Zhu Wen, was so hateful that his teeth were about to bite apart. Good Zhu Wen, what a move to make progress by retreating. You really have a lot of power. Zhu Wen used a cunning tactic to force these people in the court who were against him to help me achieve my goal. Zhang Yuanqing came from the Liang army, and Zhu Wen could say this, but how could people like Li Qiong join in? Did that really become a deliberate partnership to suppress meritorious officials and form cliques for personal gain? Everyone in the court knew that Emperor Shizong was always generous in awarding meritorious officials, with heavy rewards. As a result, Zhu Wen's influence in the court became even greater. Despite being reluctant in his heart, Li Qiong really broke his teeth and swallowed into his stomach. I hereby report to your majesty that this matter must not be tolerated. The colonel of the Chonglu school has executed Huang Chao, which is a great achievement. How can we perfunctorily follow suit? If we want rewards, we need heavy rewards. Your Majesty, we thought. Every time the ministers said a word, Zhu Wen pretended to be afraid and tried his best to stop it. Zhang Yuanqing, who was present, understood a bit and decided to remain silent, putting on a nonchalant attitude. Emperor Shizong suddenly coughed a few times, and the noisy Jin Wan Hall fell silent instantly. Shizong's eyes showed a strange expression, and his indifferent gaze turned to Zhang Yuanqing, saying, Chong Lu, what do you mean? Zhang Yuanqing quickly attached himself to pay homage and said, As a person and subject, I must fulfill my duties. As a subject, I will take whatever your majesty gives me. This answer made Emperor Shizong very satisfied and burst into laughter. With a wave of his hand, he said, Someone, announce the decree. The chief attendant walked forward. Feng, Chong Lu was appointed as the Grand General of the Jin Wuwei, with a rank of third grade. He was granted the title of Champion Marquis, with a fiefdom of 3,000 households. He was given a golden python robe, a tin crown, and a mansion with five entrances. He had three hundred beauties, fifty pieces of silk, one thousand tails of silver, and five hundred tails of gold. Zhu Wen, the king of Liang, was posthumously appointed as the chief censor and minister of education, as well as the governor of Tongping. 
he lived in a fief of one thousand households. King Jean, King Chi, for his meritorious service in killing the rebels, bestowed with titles. As soon as the words were spoken, the courtiers' heads shook, and some couldn't believe their ears. What is the position of General Jean Wu Wei? That is the emperor's personal bodyguard, who commands the important position of guarding the imperial city with five thousand gold coins. As for the champion marquis, except for his beautiful name, he has no real power. But just a Jin Wu Wei is enough to prove what it means to climb to the sky and achieve success. Zhu Wen, this thief is really damn it. Many princes cursed in their hearts. In this way, no matter what the emperor rewards, they can only endure it and cannot speak out against it anymore. Because the surname Li still exists in this world. The imperial edict is written in court, the jade seal is stamped, and everything is settled in dust. Thank you, your majesty, for your kindness. Step back, the attendant swept the dust, Emperor Shizong retreated, and the officials bowed their heads to bid farewell. Outside the Jin Wan Hall, Zhang Yuanqing was surrounded by people constantly coming to congratulate him. Regardless of whether Zhang Yuanqing still wore eye straps on his face, he couldn't even see their faces. At this moment, Zhu Wen walked over. Brother Chong Lu, don't forget the brothers of Liang Jun in the future. After speaking, Zhu Wen patted Zhang Yuanqing's shoulder and walked away with a smile. In the future, Zhu Wen will have someone by the emperor's side and not worry about this country facing downwards and backwards. Zhang Yuanqing strolled alone on Zhu Ke Street, cheers echoing from the bustling crowd. Zhang Yuanqing was curious and walked over to join the fun. The girl has great drawing skills, they are truly lifelike. I'll pay one or two silver to ask the girl to paint for me. Fuck you, which round will I get you? Ante. Among the crowd, an unparalleled beautiful and charming girl was painting on the street. Even though Zhang Yuanqing blindfolded her eyes, she could sense how beautiful and unparalleled this young girl was. Among those who seek painting, the girl is not satisfied with both sides of the picture. Why are they all so ugly? Suddenly, she saw Zhang Yuanqing in the crowd. What a handsome scholar. I want to paint for you. She pointed at Zhang Yuanqing, her charming and affectionate eyes revealing a bright expression, and smiled brightly. Everyone saw a handsome scholar and a stunning beauty, and there was no room for them. Scattered, scattered, all scattered. Everyone dispersed as birds and beasts, leaving only Zhang Yuanqing and the girl behind. The girl's drawing skills were extraordinary, and soon she printed Zhang Yuanqing's appearance on paper. But when she finished drawing, the person disappeared. She stomped her feet in anger, but couldn't bear to tear them apart. I haven't even given any silver, Bai Chang has such a beautiful face. Not long ago, Zhang Yuanqing moved into his own marquis's mansion. The Wujin mansion is truly spacious, with unique and beautiful garden scenery decorated inside, complete with pavilions, towers, and towers. It offers a panoramic view of Luoyang from a high altitude. At night, Zhang Yuan cleared her screen and left her maid, sitting alone in the pavilion in the center of the lake. Yo, the general is drinking alone late at night, doesn't he feel lonely? A familiar and gentle voice came, followed by a fragrant aroma. Zhang Yuanqing doesn't need to think to know who came. At first glance, this place has excellent feng shui and picturesque scenery. Hmm, it's tasteful. Ho Qing casually placed his hand on Zhang Yuanqing's shoulder, snatched the glass from his hand, and drank it all in one gulp. After savoring it carefully, he looked around and sat down on the stone bench. The newcomers were exactly four generals. Zhang Yuanqing's mouth curved slightly and poured four glasses of wine in a row. What, Zhu Wen sent you to monitor me? What kind of nonsense are you talking about? The general angrily patted the back of Zhang Yuanqing's head, snatched the wine glass that Zhang Yuanqing had placed on his lips, and sat beside him without hesitation. A pair of evil and enchanting beautiful eyes flickered with a little eye wave. 
Are you willing to take in a few homeless and pitiful people in this big place? Welding Ba looked around like a curious baby. Ingo still had a cold appearance, silently imitating Zhang Yuanqing's style and drinking heavily, being so spicy that she stuck out her tongue on the side. Zhang Yuanqing faced the generals with a stern expression, as if his gaze had pierced through his eyelids. For a long time, the generals were seen with a blush on their pretty faces, and a pair of delicate feet in their small shoes couldn't help but curl up their toes. She turned her head and pouted, shouting, What are you looking at? It's like you've never seen a beautiful woman before. Zhang Yuanqing laughed heartily, and was torn off by the angry generals. Feng's eyes were shy and angry, pointing at Zhang Yuanqing's nose and fiercely saying, Don't laugh. Are you willing or not? Give me a definite answer. It's strange that I don't want to. Humph I dare you too. The general proudly raised the corners of his mouth, his fingers wrapped around his hair, and his thoughts were written on his face. At this moment, Zhang Yuanqing suddenly felt a warm breath coming from behind him, a faint scent of alcohol coming in, and exhaled fragrant orchids in his ear. Zhang Yuanqing turned his head and saw a hint of drunken blush rising from Ingo's stunning face, his eyes hazy and unparalleled. With a stern expression on her face and a flick of her arm, Zhang Yuanqing fell into her warm and fragrant embrace. Today is a double day, you're going with me tonight. End of this chapter